What does fluoridation of the water mean? It's a mass medication in a way. Mm. And the, the big challenge is we don't know how each of us, how much we take in. Because we have patients or people that drink two or three liters a day, they do a lot of sports, so they will have a far higher take in right. on fluoride. And kids are very, very susceptible to, to any kind of toxins. So we need to be very careful of what we can allow. If we just put it in the water, we haven't got a clue who gets what and no one has given a consent to do it. So if it's done locally on the teeth, there might be help for that, also that's debated. And there's, there's even a research, Cochrane research, where it says that the benefits are very, very little. There was a, a city in, in Switzerland, it was either Basel or, or Bern, and they did water fluoridation for 20 or 30 years. Right. And then they gathered the data, and to their astonishment, there wasn't anything that said, yes, it's worth continuing with the water right. fluoridation. So they stopped it. And many other countries never did water fluoridation. They, they just never thought of that. It's, it's the same with mercury. Russia never, never used mercury for, for filling. So that, that, that was just never a discussion.